Good afternoon. My name is Joe Cashwell with Rotocraft RC. Today we're doing another soldering video. One of our customers purchases the Glacier Lipos from Buddy RC and ships them to us. And what we do is we take off the EC5, which is a five millimeter connector, and we put on a Castle 6.5, which is, there's a little bit of a soldering trick with the Castle 6.5s. You have to push the wire through, solder it, then pull it back. And we have a couple little tricks for doing this. We hope you enjoyed the video and we hope you learned something. So we're just gonna go through the steps of how we do it. We take our side cutters and we'll cut straight through the 10 gauge wire right at the connector. We don't want the wire to be any shorter. And then we're gonna use our wire strippers. Make sure you use the 10 gauge holes so you're not taking away any wire. If you choke this down, Ohm's law kicks in and then it's just not a good day. Now with a larger connector, we're using a little bit better solder. I know a lot of people use the 6040 solder. We're using the 6337, which has a higher tin content. It gives us a couple things. With a higher tin content, your melting temperature goes up by about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So we less likely to have a failure. If we go to any higher temperatures, any higher currents, and we go to a silver solder, which is a little bit more of a pain in the butt to, to use because it's got a very high uh, melting temperature. Now we're gonna use the sponge and we're keeping the sponge on the shielding itself. We're just trying to heat, draw some of that heat out. Now we're gonna set the lipo to where when we just put the wire in, it kind of holds itself in so it's not a bind. And then we're gonna come in and tin the inside of the connector. Now we have our soldering station up at about 850 degrees Fahrenheit. And now that we've got everything tinned, we're just gonna put the two together and wedge the paddle in between it, the, the soldering tip, where if you could tell we're using a large paddle on this. And we're trying to get both the same temperature, the same amount of heat. We don't want the wire to be hotter than the, than the connector itself, because then it's gonna draw the solder up the wire. Now we're just gonna feed this in until we have a nice puddle of it in here and we see it stop drawing into the wire. And you can see on the one side, it drew up a little bit more solder. So we're gonna place some in there. It's nice and puddled, it's shiny. That's always good. And then we put the sponge down here and you can see it draw the heat right out and that solidify. So on all your connectors, when you're done soldering, always use a cleaner and clean it up. We use a denatured alcohol here at Rotocraft, and then we'll take side cutters, and whenever it puddles up, we'll clean that right up and get inside the connector and clean it all up. That flux is a resistor point, and it won't let you have good connection. So get that all cleaned up before you use the connector. Then once you get it cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the housing. Now we will use the male and stick it into the female, and then I have just a set of channel locks that I'll put on here. And you watch, it just compresses it right in like a little press. You get that good click. Then I use my needle nose to pull that back out. And then we have a fantastic connection that's seated. It's safe to push that in because a lot of people have put holes in their fingers trying to get those in. And then I always come back and verify polarity positive to red, negative to black. I know y'all know this, but people still get it backwards. And that's how we took John's Glacier Lipos and put his new ends on. Good afternoon. My name is Joe Cashwell with Rotocraft RC. And yes, my gators, woo, they pulled one out last second. Oh my gosh. What an end to a game. RC, and we take off the five millimeter uh, EC5 and we put on a 6.5 millimeter 
Castle 6.5 millimeter. Really don't like the way that came out. Sends us his lipos that he buys from Buddy RC, and we take off the Castle. It's gonna be one of those days. 